Hello, lovely people. We're back in Clock Town. Yes, we're playing some Majora's Mask again. This is in honour of, and should have to be published on, the 29th of February 2024, a leap day. And I thought, what a great excuse to play a time travelling, time looping game such as Majora's Mask again, which I do love, although I've played shockingly little of since um, 18 months ago when I made my first video on it. Um, it seems like only yesterday, and in fact I may even have lost three days there. Yes, also, uh, the first video went up uh, partially in celebration of 100 videos on the channel. Uh, I'm just usually trying to avoid getting crashed by the stuff. Um, and we've now reached a point where we've just gone over 200 videos at the, ooh, at the time of this publication. So, uh, I think that's another cause for celebration. And, well, and time to play some more of Majora's Mask, which is, is very fun. Let's, can I talk to this person? Oh no, that's the wrong button. Can I talk to this? Can I talk to this person? Oh, yeah. No, no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I'm doing bubbles. Okay. <laughs> talk, talk, talk. No, talk, talk. Yes. Hey ho, hey ho. It looks like another all nighter. I wonder if that will get finished. Well, good luck. Um, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure, from what I've already seen, that the uh, the tower here does not get finished. Uh, right, so, my thoughts for this next set of three days we're going to play is that we should probably uh, have a little look, well, look around town because uh, uh, the first run we did, we were very focused on trying to get to our main objective, which was finding Skull Kid, getting back our Ocarina of Time. Uh, we do have a little... Uh, Submission, which we were reminded uh, of by our fairy companion Tattle. Oh, where is Tattle at the moment? Tattle? I'm sure they'll come out when they're ready. Right, so we need to return to the rather creepy, happy mask salesman uh, here pictured um, because we agreed we'd do that once we got our ocarina back and they would hopefully help us with our current uh, Deku-ness as we got trapped that way by Skull Kid. So let's see if they've got something for us. Are you able to recover your precious item from that Im? Ow, ow, ow! You got it, you got it, you got it, you got it! Then listen to me! Please play this song that I'm about to perform and remember it well. Okay, I think I can uh, I can do left, right, down. Left, left, oh no, wrong stick. Left, right, down. Left, right, down. Here you go. Yay, we know the song of healing. Bye bye, malevolent Deku spirit. Bye bye. Oh. The mask has fallen. Oh, look, that's. Look at how beautifully fluid that animation is. This is a melody that heals evil, magic, and troubled spirits, turning them into masks. I am sure it will be of assistance to you in the future. Ah yes, I give you this mask in commemoration of this day. Fear not, for the magic has been sealed inside the mask. When you wear it, you will transform into the shape you just were. When you remove it, you will return to normal. Okay. Looks more disturbing from inside, I think. You've got the Deku mask to keep as a memento. I mean, I'm... A Press start and set it to uh, one of the quick, quick buttons, quick button buttons, or on the select item screen. Okay, wear the mask with C to inhabit the body of a Deku. It's a troubling sentence. Press C again to return to normal. 
<laughs> now I have fulfilled my promise to you. So please, give me that which you promised me. Don't tell me. My mask. You did get it back, didn't you? Angry eyes. What have you done to me? If you leave my mask out there, something terrible will happen. I mean, it is already happening. Have you looked up? I guess you haven't been outside. The mask was stolen from me. It was called Majora's Mask. Well, that explains the, where the name comes from, I suppose. It is an accursed item from legend that is said to have been used by an ancient tribe in its hexing rituals. It is said that an evil and wicked power is bestowed upon the one who wears that mask. According to legend, the troubles caused by Majura's mask were so great that the world ended? The Ancient Ones, fearing such catastrophe, sealed the mask in shadow forever, preventing its misuse. So why did you go and dig it up then, happy mask salesman? But now, that tribe from the legend has vanished, so no one really knows the true nature of the mask's power. <sighs> but I feel it. I went to great lengths to get that legendary mask! When I finally had it, I could sense the doom of a dark omen brewing. It was that unwelcome thing that makes your hair stand on end. And now, that imp has it. I am begging you, you must get that mask back quickly or something horrible will happen. I'm begging you, I'm begging you, you must do it. <laughs> really? You'll do it for me? I was certain you would tell me that. You'll be fine. Surely you can do it. Believe in your strengths. Believe. <laughs> you know what? After that, I I'm warming to this creepy this creepy mask salesman. Um, look at us. So we're we're elfin, elfin, small statured, uh, warrior. Link again. Isn't that exciting? Um, I must say, I really enjoy the jump cuts that come with interacting with the Happy Mask Salesman. I think they do a really good job of um, conveying character because um, it's, it's a really unusual thing to see actually because um, when you do have to uh, put up with a, a cutscene in the video game. Very rarely is it edited in such a um, startling way, and it really emphasises the um, abrupt mood transitions that that character experiences. And that last sequence was particularly um, effective, I thought, in um, in showing their uh, <laughs> kind of one-sided journey. Oh, that mask! The Skull Kid uses the power of that mask to do those terrible things. Well, whatever it takes, we've got to do something about it. The swamp, mountains, ocean and canyon that Tail was trying to tell us about. I bet he was referring to the four areas just outside town. There's one in each compass direction. Thanks, Tattle. But what do you suppose he meant by the four who are there? I have no idea. He always skips important stuff. I guess we should just go and find out. If we go through that gate straight ahead, we'll be heading in the direction of the swamp very clear indication there of like the main path to progress it's like suggesting the swamp is the first area to go to and there's probably somebody we have to recruit in each area in order to um, fully prevent the catastrophe uh, right so now I'm uh, a full size Link whatever that means I still don't know how old how old do we think Link is it's usually left quite ambiguous I think he um, ages up during the course of Ocarina of Time although I never got 
far enough to experience a time jump in that game. But I think we're big enough now that dogs don't knock us down. No, they don't. Can we interact with the dog? I don't want to attack. Gra grab the dog. Oh! <gasps> no. Can I? Do I feel naughty? I do feel a bit naughty, but I think the dog is okay. Okay, uh, so my plan for, although the, the main path of progress, as Tattle just informed us, is to go out and about. And that's absolutely what my um, my young relatives did when we were playing together. As soon as we got through the first three days, they were straight out of here. Um, but what I'd really like to do is explore the town more, because in my first three days here, um, I just spent a lot of time uh, doing the main path to get to a point where I could save the game. Because that was pretty important. Um, and we um, we didn't really have a look at all the interactions that we can have in here. So, first of all, I'm going to head off to this part, where there's the river and the mysterious shop. I can't remember what the description of the shop is. There's a frog. I remember there's a frog. Yay! Frog. I want to talk to the frog. Can I grab the frog? Oh, you can grab the... There you go. Frog. 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 I can't... There's no prompt to interact with the frog. I still don't know what that's all about. But uh, was I imagining things or was there a fairy here? Is there a fairy? Yes. Okay, let's just see if we can get this fairy. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, we did get it. I thought we were too late. Please hear my plea! The masked skull kid has broken me apart and scattered my pieces. Please find a way to return me to the fairy fountain in North Clock Town. Okay, so there's still thanks. Liz. There's still this door here that we um, we're not going to be able to get through in time after ringing the bell. So as a Deku, we rang the bell by doing our magical girl transformation uh, swirl. But can we just ring the bell by being a link? Is that a, a thing? I guess maybe you can do an attack. Can you do an attack? Ah, there you go. You just, just one for one. Yeah, so I don't know. Unless we get a character who is really fast. Like a mask that gives us a power set that's really fast. No, I'm here! <laughs> that was quite funny. Okay, so Link can swim, so we can just swim across the other side as long as there's a grabbable parapet on the other side. It's good to know. Okay, we've got the fairy. So I do have a small list uh, from last time of things that we've been uh, told that we could try once we've been restored to our previous uh, form. So I think up here is north, right? So, oh. Oh, here we go. This is this again. Oh, actually, this is a good point to check in. This is also on my list. What carries over from iteration to iteration? Um, because we've got our magic. We still have our magic ability. Because I was accidentally blowing bubbles. Uh, this is my private property. Don't try using it when I'm not around. Um, do we have? Uh, do we have? We have our arena. Uh, we have zero Deku Nuts because we're not naturally producing them anymore. Oh, we can see a little bit of the map now. That's nice. Interesting. Is that the... Oh, do you reckon that's the whole world map? Because if that's the case, then... No, I reckon that's kind of like the town and the overworld because there are there are different areas for the different places. We've got two songs. Oh, I can't, I can't believe I didn't realise we had a songbook. Uh, we've got a... Oh, sorry. We've got a heart piece, uh, so if we get three more of those, we'll be uh, a lot healthier. We've got our sword and shield. Uh, we've got the Deku mask, but I think that was where the thing I'm looking for is, which is the deed to this um, Deku flower. So yeah, that doesn't carry over, so we'd have to do that mission again if we want to launch from there. Which I guess you probably don't want to do until you're final run i would assume i'd assume you need to work out all the other things you need to do to coordinate an ending and then get to your ending um that's what i think would happen so that's interesting so that doesn't bank i wonder if there's a way to shortcut that 
at some point. There may be. Okay, so I'm uh, no point in talking to you right at the moment. Uh, I'm going to carry on north, as I had thought. Yeah, so on my list of things to do uh, is re revisit the Great Fairy as... Um... Oh no, is this... No, this is a different area. Well, you know what, let's do it. We can do it. We can do all these things in order. It's West Clock Town, where we've spent the least time, I think, so far. So I will come back to the fairy. Also, I want to go to the north to talk to the bomber gang. Because if I can convince them I'm one of them, they might give me a notebook, which seems to be a major part of the um, part of the game's mechanics. Because that will record um, activities uh, like quests and schedules and things for characters. How old are you? You're not from around here, are you? Why are you dressed like that? Why? Huh? Why? Do you have any problems? Any? If you do, tell it to us bombers. Tell us. Pissed. Want to know about the bombers? Yeah. <laughs> Hehe. You can't tell anyone. Every bomber has a notebook. Here's how we use it. Find troubled people and add their names and pictures. Only 20 people will fit in your book. Promise to help them. Mark promises with promise stickers. Don't be late fulfilling their promises. Whenever you solve someone's problem, it makes you happy. So a happy sticker will be added to your book. No removing stickers. Use promise stickers to keep track of people until everyone is happy. Don't forget the rules. The Bombers Gang is a secret society of justice. You can't tell this to anyone. Shh. Okay, but where can I get the... Oh, you know, I kind of want to get that first. Should we go to north first? You can't get to west from north? So I need to go back this way. It's all good. So where where is north again? Oh, this way. It's up here. Ha! Ah, I almost went the correct way. Yeah, let's go do it. So, an interesting, ooh, interesting thing that has endured is our map, because we had to buy that from Tingle, who's currently airborne, uh, first time. Uh, so that's carried over. Interesting, isn't it? And all our, all our cash is gone. Um, so we'll have to recover that. Okay, let's talk to you. What do you want, guy? I'm busy practicing with my blowgun. Don't mess with me. Okay. So do... Mm, I think we probably need to do our quest again. But we'll go We'll go fairy first. Um, and see what magical abilities await us. And then we'll have a look at the rest. Yay! I do love this area. Okay, let's go reunite this beautifully designed fairy. And then we get to meet the great fairy again. I wonder if she'll remember what happened last time. Here she is. Oh, Tattle, and you, kind young one. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I am the great fairy of magic. For now, this is all I can offer you. Allow me to ease your weariness as my token of gratitude. What does... what's that going to be? Oh, a tractor beam. Are you going to lift the bags under my eyes? Oh. I've got a magic bar again. Oh, kind young one. Scattered throughout the four temples of this land are broken stray fairies like me. Oh, four temples, four areas. I'm seeing a correlation here. Please find a way to save them and return them to their fountains. Surely they will add to your strength. Oh, allow me to grant you something good so that the stray fairies will not fear you. It's a tiny little head like mine, but with pink hair. Well, it's a mask. Oh, the fairy mask. You got the great fairy mask. Wear it with C. Stray fairies will fly to you when you wear it. You'll know you're close to a fairy who's lost in a temple if the mask's hair begins to shimmer. Oh my goodness, that's a bit technical. Come see me whenever your quest has made you weary. Oh. I wonder... So we've got the mask, that's very cool. I'm gonna have a look at that right away. 
<gasps> Here it is. So there's like key masks, I guess, go on this side. And then let's assign this to there. I guess we might as well assign that to the, there. Those are our main powers at the moment, aren't they? Okay. I'm intrigued. Um, let's just check the info for that one. Oh, that disappeared too quickly. Oh. Oh. Why does that keep disappearing? Oh, well. I guess we don't get to look at that. But that's fine. Maybe something to do with the button presses. Right. Uh, I'm going to put it on. Let's see what happens when I turn to a fairy. Whoa, okay. Oh, I'm just literally wearing a mask. That's a little disappointing. I was expecting a full body horror transformation, Ella. <laughs> it really goes all the way into it, doesn't it? Okay, well while we're doing this, we might as well do our... Um... Impressing the kid again. Well, I, th I think we should probably take the mask off first, though. Does that work? Yeah, it should do. Hey, Jimmy. Are you the guy who just popped that up there? Wow! Hey, just for you, gang, I can make you a member of our gang, the Bombers. But there is a test for becoming a Bombers member. Come on, give it a try. Are you ready? Yeah, go on. All right, line up, guys. You can find all five of us by tomorrow morning. I'll teach you a secret code. Ready? Right. So, I mean, this should be... If we're playing by the rules of... Uh, <laughs> uh, I think the Deku Scrub is faster, right? The Link. Oh, you caught me. Now there are only four left. Um, yes, yeah, so if we're playing by the rules of time travel, then things, they should be in exactly the same place and ultimately the code should be the same. So they won't have had a reason to change their code. Right, as I recall, there are two in the east part of town and one in the west. This goes to south. This goes to east. So east is good. We want east. Oh, I think you need to be a Deku to get to at least one of them. I think that's right. So we can do the chicken one anyway. Because you can just get there. Woo! Like that roll. Okay. Come here. Come here, little scam. Gotcha. Uh, that roll was very good. Okay. Right, so then we need to go over here. And we can quick change into our Deku scrubs. Every time? Every time. Okay, so now I need to do the uh, dive and hold it down and then pop up and then go around. No, how do we? Oh, oh I might still. No, I'm not gonna make it. Okay, well, let's just go down. Let's try that again. What if I. Can I change the cam? No, I don't want to do that. Can I change the camera around a little bit? Okay. Uh, how about that? Oh, that's better. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, but at least we'll be come up facing the right direction this time. There we go. Yes. Ah, we're playing a game right now. Leave me alone. Ah, oh, it doesn't recognise that it's me. Okay. It's me, Link. Scared? Oh, does it not work if you change your... Go away. Well, in that case, I'm going to go through this mysterious door and then come back. I want to check out these doors anyway, but. Oh! Stockpot Inn! Oh, there's the ponderous person. 
<gasps> Amazing. I do want to look in this place more. That's where the um, monstrous Pikachu was. Okay. So is the game still on? Yes. Okay, good. Alright, that was a little confusing. Oh, so I could have used the... Oh, no. I accidentally put a mask on. Hang on. Are you... Oh, you caught me! No, there's only one left! You didn't do that before! That's exciting! <laughs> right, I'm going to take my mask off. Because I don't need to detect fairies right now. Um, right, west. We want to go to the west, which we can get to... via... the south. It all makes sense. Uh, I assure you. Did I ever find out what that green square... That green square... That orange square was in the the bottom middle of the map is it something up is it a secret that's up on a roof or something i feel like that might be the case um right so i'm going west which is this way yes this is the bottom of west so they'll be at the top of west okay let's run up here so basically i want to do a, a town tour in this run um that should hopefully evolve going into all these establishments and uh oh no way you finally got me yes okay uh yeah we'll go to all these establishments you did it so what's your name guy link huh all right that skull kid broke our rules and he's been doing all kinds of bad things lately starting today he's out i'm making link obama you guys don't mind right right yeah, not so prejudiced against me now on Deku. This is the Bomber's Notebook. It contains the words we live by. Read it over. You got the Bomber's Notebook. It allows you to keep track of people's schedules. Press Start to access the Quest status screen. Then highlight the notebook and press A to read it. Uh, I think this is the same... Yeah, this is the same description that we got before from the other kid. So find 12 people, turn in 20 people. Promise to help them. Mark pro promise stickers. Happy sticker. Um, no removing stickers. Don't forget the rules. All right then. All right then. I'll teach you our secret code. Ready? One, two, three, four, and then five to. Be yeah. So same as before. That's good. The random seed should be the same. Code is five two three four one. Write it down. I did. <gasps> The Bama Secret Society of Justice was added to your notebook. You were taught the secret code. This was added to your notebook. Nice. Click coordinates again. I think I enjoyed that last time. Right. Well, that was that was good stuff. Okay. So then we'll start we'll start our explorations. Um, I'm gonna go uh, into south. I think there's another little thing we can try out. Let me uh, we'll cross up some things on my to-do list here. We've got the bomber's notebook. We've been to the fairy. Why is this? There's a statue around here, right? Yeah. And it says, "Ye who hold the secret sword, leave and proof of our oh, it's rhyme. Leave proof of our encounter." So I think if you whack it with your sword, it's a temporary save. Oh, I can't really tell what's happening because I've gone inside Link's bottom. I think we got a little, like, a, a temporary save. I don't know how we'd restore the temporary save. You can save your progress and quit here. When you reselect your file, my face will appear by your file name. Oh. This indicates the next time you reopen your file, you'll resume paying at this very place and time with your current status. Warning, if you reopen this owl file, then reset without having saving at an owl statue you'll lose the progress you've saved here the next time you open the file you'll restart at day one with the status you had when you last saved using the song of time save your progress up to this point and quit playing uh oh okay so as if you need to go early right now I understand okay oh and his wings are up now right Okay, well that's good to know. So I don't think we actually saved it. But if we need to quit out, that's like a, a temporary one-time save. Nintendo like to do things like that. I think I've had that in a Final Fantasy game before. Okay, Doggy, how are you doing? Dried out? Um, 
Right, so let's start then. Let's start our adventures by... Does this person have anything new to say? This poster's an eyesore. What a sorry collection of cowards. Bluyak! Fool! I think you stand there for quite a while, don't you? It's uh, recruiting soldiers. Protect peace and uphold justice with us. Call recruiter Vison. Okay, I mean there are there are lots of exciting buildings here. There's, there's the happy jugglers. They've probably still got the same joke that they had last time. There's some kind of squid shop, which, I mean, I'm up for some squid games. Can I read the sign? Do I need to do the Z thing? I do, don't I? Okay. Town shooting gallery. Interesting. I might need to come back when I've got my own. Uh... I guess I could maybe do it as a Deku. Maybe. Oh, hi. Do you have eyeballs? <laughs> if you think you can do it, why don't you give it a try, Sonny? One game is 20 rupees. I haven't got any cash. No, thanks. Well, then, be that way. Geezer, right. Uh, can I have a look at what's happening? Oh. I guess I can. Uh... Yeah, I guess stuff will appear. Targets will appear. And you look like you've got a traffic cone and an inflatable ball there. And a pistol? Is that a pistol on the wall? And a... Um... What if I told you I was a great fairy? See, I am a great fairy. Oh, let's just bomb around as the great fairy for a little bit. That'll be fun. I don't know if it will confuse people. Um, right. What is this then? The face shop? What is that? Can I... Uh, do I need to Z? Yeah, I do, don't I? Honey and Darling Shop. A gaming centre changing daily. Okay, I like the sound of that. Honey and Darling. What is the game? What is the game? Did you... Oh! Oh, they look very lovey-dovey. Lovely. Um, let me run around. I like how the hair floats. Okay, there's no obvious gaming. I think I need to talk to Honey and Darling. Which I would love to do anyway. I, I might be a little distracted. I can't... I'm not sure. <laughs> it looks like we have a visitor, Honey. I wonder if it's a customer, Darling. But from what I can see, he doesn't seem to have a bomb bag, honey. Oh my, then he can't play today, can he, darling? Oh, okay. Alright, no games for me without a bomb bag. Oh! <gasps> it's Pikachu! Posty Pikachu! Posty Pikachu, Pikachu. The city is so busy, it's hard to find one's way, Goro. Oh, it's a Goron. That's what a Goron looks like in Majora's Mask. Brilliant. So that was the uh, the Lovey Dovey Game Shop. Have we looked at this poster before? The Indigo Goes. Oh, yeah, we have seen an Indigo Go poster before. I wonder if they we can contact Madame Moreau or the band themselves. That would be fun. Right, let's get away from this wall because the camera went weird. There's this one. Is this another recruitment poster? Yeah, it is. I thought it might be. It looks similar. Uh, what does this say? Patron guidelines for the milk bar. Latte. We offer our customers limited run milk. Thus be our, mem our members only establishment. Those who do not have proof of membership will be refused service. The owner. Now, I mean, I like that. That's weird. But also, I wonder if that's kind of a um, translation censorship thing? Because that could easily have been changed from it's a, you know, a bar for serving alcohol and you need proof of age to be able to be served. It does look very much like an alcohol type of bar. What is that music doing? What is on the wall? Are they animal head out of animal heads, but from a weird angle? It's a bit dead. I guess it is 
What is it? Four o'clock in the afternoon? I'm going to put on a show for you. Oh, why is the camera changed? This is weird. <laughs> oh, I jumped off. Okay. Well, let's talk to this person who might work here. The bar opens at night, sir. And it's the members only. We refuse people who don't have proof of membership. Well, now I'm getting things ready. So as long as you don't get in the way of my cleaning, you can stay. Okay, and who is this funky person here? Oh, is this, was this person who was angry before? What are you staring at? Sounds like your show has been cancelled. You don't really need to be here anymore. I came to drink. I'm a customer. Well then, customer, the bar opens at 10 o'clock at night. Please wait till then. And besides that, this bar is for members only. Those without proof of membership will be refused entry. Well, then I don't need milk. I just want to sit and think for a while. Just give me a place to do that. Fine. Be my guest. Gorman, leader of the travelling troop, was added to your notebook. Hi Gorman, can I talk to you directly? Oh, what am I going to say to the troop members? Oh, Gorman. Okay. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm not really sure, but... Exciting. We're making social connections in town. Gorman has a performance-related problem. Uh, it may or may not be what we think. Um, okay, there's, there's an establishment over here as well. Hi, kid. What's this one? Open the chest for something splendid. The thrill of surprise. Treasure chest shop. Okay, so these mostly seem to be gaming establishments. Oh, treasure chest shop. This is a very... This is, ooh, this is large. Okay, let's talk to the person behind the counter. And psychedelic. Night of the first day, 60 hours remain. That went quickly. Okay. Hello. Oh, you're quite pretty. But aren't I prettier? Just kidding. Uh, if, what if I take my mask off? Come in. Oh, it's the kid collecting masks. How about it? Wanna play? For you, it's 20 rupees. Uh, broke. Sorry, doll. Oh, really? Too bad. Come again. Okay, it looks like you can win bullion, so it might be worth trying out later on. Um, I suspect there's some kind of encounter related to that checkered floor there. Right, so, there's a big bell up there. That's the... so I suspect this is probably the other door to the inn? The stop by inn! Brilliant, let's check the inn out. Check out at the inn? Ch no, check in at the inn. Check out the inn. Before we check in. Yay! This is from the intro. I think we're sitting right here. Okay, let's talk to the clerk at the desk. Hi. Welcome to the Stockpot Inn. Um, are you staying the night? No. Oh, really? That's good. We were always totally booked right before the carnival. We're sorry we have to turn people away. I recommend making a reservation if you plan to stay with us during the season. Please pay the Stockpot Inn a visit in the future. And you, the innkeeper, was added to your notebook. Nice, so we're meeting peoples. Do you have anything else to stay? Or is it the same? Oh my, I wonder. Did I by chance ask you the same thing earlier? My mother is always telling me to remember our customers' faces, but I tend to forget them. Oh, okay. So I think you get the same... You must get the same... There's a little, little cow toy up there. You must get the same response whether you say you are or aren't. It is not an available option. Ooh, this is interesting. So before we store up the stairs, there's somebody waiting up here. Because we came through from that door. Right? Okay, so these interior rooms... Oh my goodness, it's quite big. Like the light beams very atmospheric. It is night time now, right? So it's a bit rude to go 
knocking on people's doors, but what is Link if not a little bit rude? I would just let yourself in. Oh, it's one of the jugglers. Amazing. Playing cards. Oh, they're both there. Okay, that makes more sense. Did you meet the Rosa sisters? Our fellow performers from the troupe? They're twins too. They're twins just like us. Can you believe it? I think they're practicing somewhere in West Clocktown right now. There are two sets of twins traveling in Gorman's troop of entertainers. I mean, what are the chances? I'd say the chances are about one in a billion. No, wait, make that four in a billion. <laughs> oh, they crack each other up. Okay, right, so Gorman's troop, we now know, has two sets of twins in. There's a thing on the floor. Is there a thing on the floor? No. There is. Oh, it's a bug. <gasps> That's nice. I mean, ideally you wouldn't have bugs in your hotel room if it could be avoided. But as an environmental detail that brings brings the town to life, I'm enjoying it. Okay, so that's who's in that room. All right, people seem very uh, even-tempered and happy to meet strangers who want to walk into their hotel rooms. So that's good. Sneaking into other people's rooms? You're the worst! Okay, can we knock? No, can't. Okay, Tattle doesn't doesn't like that stuff. Okay, what about this one? It says employees only, no admittance. Okay, not that then. Well, Link can really murk down the stairs. I think there was some... It is 8.30pm and the Stockpot Inn will now be locking the door. Thank you for joining us. Oh, okay. So you do that in the morning. Uh, and I guess you might have access to other people? Alright, what else can we do at night? There's... Um, we can always go down the Secret Passage. I... Oh, I didn't... Oh yes, I did write down my list. There's always the Scarecrow who promised to teach us a song. This is the mayor's official residence. Opens to the public from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. All right, I guess there might be fewer options as to what to do. Um, I could always come back to the bar at 10, I suppose. In the meantime, what if we go to the uh, west? And we can get there by going through the south. Um, we might be able to find out what the shops are, even if they're not open, I suppose. We might be able to find those other twins. That's possible. I don't think we added the juggling twins to our notebook. Can we add this person? This boat is an eyesore. What a sorry collection of cowards. Bleuk, foo. No, okay, I don't know if we can help that person. What about this person though? Because they're just work, working tirelessly day and night. Can I speak? speak? No, I don't want to tag you. I want to speak to you. Here you go. Hey ho, hey ho. It looks like another all nighter. I wonder if that'll get finished. No, okay, we can't. But what about this four person? Hey, apprentice! Don't just stand around looking at the sky all day. Oh, I think I know what the apprentice is looking at. Uh, unfortunately. I think it's oh. the moon. Yeah, I think it's the moon. Okay. Oh, what does this sign say? Is there anybody ever anybody here? Absolutely guaranteed. We shall guard your assets. Clocktown Bank. Interesting. Okay. Now. Is there some way I can get around time travel uh, with a bank? Is that possible? I guess if I get like a bank book stamp with a certain amount in it, I might be able to take that with me. That seems plausible. What if I talk to my fellow bomber here? Can I get a bomb bag? Hey buddy, have you found any troubled people? If you do, add them to your notebook. Do you remember how to use your notebook? Yeah, I got it. Thanks. All oh, right, the Bomber's Secret Society of Justice forever. <laughs> it's incredibly cute. Okay. Curiosity shop. Is it old? 
What, the Dickens? Oh, you can go to night. Okay, it's, there are boxes. Um, this is probably the kind of shop that I would uh, curate. Oh, it looks like a porn shop, actually. Okay, let's talk to the person. <laughs> Come in. Tonight, I got nothing to sell. I kid you not. Can, you, can I buy something? I'll pay you good for it. Show it to me with C. Press start to open the select item screen. Choose and use an item with C. Thanks. Come in again. The man from the curiosity shop was added to your notebook. You know what? We should really have a look at this notebook. Uh, which I've neglected to do up to this point. Where would it be? Uh, oh, it's here. It's here. Okay. Decide. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, hang on. Let's go. Can I go further right? Okay. So it puts the same thing in for each part of the day. And then, and you. I can't go right and end you. It shows you blue bars, which is kind of the sh schedule. I've got Man for Curiosity Shop. It seems to be busy on the final day. And then, here is Gorman, leader of a travelling troop, has fine clothes. So I can't go right to look at what I can do for them or where they are. Does it tell me where the kids are? No, it kind of tells me the information. Can I? What is the, what is the ribbon? Oh, okay. Right, so I need to select the ribbon by pressing across rather than down. Oh, and that's kind of the reward. I guess the information is the exclamation mark. The ribbon is the reward, which is kind of the thing that applies throughout. I can't really do anything with the other characters. Okay, interesting. I guess with the controller um, interface, there's a kind of a limit to what you can do here. But that's all good. So there's kind of a turning clock wheel, reminiscent of the clock tower itself. There's a vault there. It's kind of kind of interesting um, suit of armor there. That looks cool. You sure you're not selling that? No, sorry, dude. Okay. All right. Uh, look, this is, look at this sword here. I want that sword. I want these vases. I want to smash these vases. Okay. Oh, I have to exercise my restraint. Well, we've we've seen the uh, the curiosity shop. Nice. Oh, is a, there's a hawker there in the street. That might be something to check out. What's this? Trading post. Okay. So this is kind of, uh, the other one was like the entertainment district, plus mayor's office. And this is kind of the, um, ooh, merchant district. This is a cool shop. Always have a moat in your shop. Ah, uh, oh. Fun. Uh, it's got the old classic Zelda shop, one of everything. Uh, what's this thing that we can look at? Can I... Uh, Check. My history of tools, not for sale. I guess it's a selection of tools? Oh yes, so this is a person who uses tools. Is a fisher person? Is that what is that what the theming is all about? Let's find out. Cool shorts. Welcome. View items with stick. Talk to the shopkeeper. I will talk to the shopkeeper. Man, I just work it part time, so I don't really know this stuff. <laughs> They've done so well to convey that with the body language and the expression. Um, okay, a fairy. I think it like helps you or something. Uh, oh yeah, and you need like an empty bottle. But is it an empty bottle? Hero shield. I think that's the price of that thing. Red potion. I don't know, but I, I think it works really good and stuff. <laughs> this is really funny. <laughs> I wonder if you get somebody different during the day. Green potion. I think this like fixes up your magic power or something. Deku sick. Uh, the manager knows how to use it, but he's not here right now. 
30 arrows. There are 30 of them. Do you have one of those uh, bows? If you do, you can buy these. 50 arrows. I think you get a, um, a volume discount. 10 Deku Nuts. I think you throw it and it like blinds you and stuff. <laughs> Hilarious. Okay. Okay, so I think the owner is probably big into fishing. Um, and uh, I think the uh, assistant is not, not much into anything that's going on right there. That was hilarious. Okay. Uh, what is this? This is... The bomb shop. Well, surely if you can get a bomb bag from anywhere, it's the bomb shop, right? Hello? Oh! Oh, hello! That's an interesting outfit. Um, right, there's a bed. And a giant... Flask? And a curled up Goron? <gasps> Hi! Hello, did you come to buy a powder keg? This is just between us, but I have a huge bomb that this shop doesn't even carry. Oh, but my product is so heavy, I don't think you can carry it. I'm so, I'm sorry I even brought it up. Okay, I wonder if I need to be a Gore, have the power of the Gorons. We can stand on books, that's pretty cool. Um, Alright, I'm intrigued by this bomb seller, who looks like they run an alternative nightclub uh, as a side hustle. Welcome. Okay, I want to talk to the shopkeeper. Actually, we should have had the larger bomb bag in stock, but it seems there was an accident getting it here to the store. I don't know when we'll be getting it now. Oh, okay. Hmm, I wonder if that's a thing. 10 bombs, 30 rupees. These are selling well. You need a bomb bag to carry them. 10 bomb, bomb chew. 40 rupees. These mouse shaped bombs are practical, sleek, and self propelled. Bomb bag, 50 rupees. This bag for carrying bombs is made from a certain monster's stomach. Okay, so we might only need the um, little bomb bag to do the, the challenge in Honey and Darling's shop. But there is a bigger one potentially available, which might be a side quest. Interesting. And um, we still have no monies. Aside from cutting down a little grass to get enough rupees for a map, I think we'd have to go on some adventures for money. So that would be an interesting thing to manage. Okay, so far most things do seem to be revolving around the kind of the classic... Um, let's leave. Come again. Uh, the classic Zelda power-ups and mechanics. Uh, that's where things tend to be leaning so far. Oh! Oh, that's... Ah, oh, those... Ah! Right, the contemplative person was one of the twin performer twins. Now it all makes sense. We'll go see them in a minute. There's another lucky cow! Okay, hello person. Who are you? Hey there, little guy! Why don't you deposit some rubies? Nowadays, even if people have money, they don't deposit any! Nothing! Nothing! So, for a limited time, I'll give you a special gift based on how much you deposit. For example, if you deposit 200 rupees, you'll get an item that holds a lot of rupees. Um, uh, I'd love to. I think this might be a good thing to do, but I don't have any rupees. Don't say that! Come on! Trust me! <laughs> well, if you change your mind, come back and make a deposit. I love this desperate banker. That's, um, what a characterization. Oh, yay! Okay, let's watch this performance. Okay, can we talk? To Don't bother us! The Rosa Sisters, twin dancers, were added to your notebook. Okay, so I think I can find them at the inn during the day. They perform at night. So they're kind of the alternates to the, um, the jugglers. Close for the day. Ticket sales 6 a.m. to 5:59 p.m. Exchanges 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. It's two in the morning. Okay. 
Uh, what is it though? Lottery sh Oh, hold on. Can we... Oh, game. Are you gonna let me do some lottery fiddling? With the draw... Numbers? Because that would be very exciting. Okay, is there a sign for this one? Above the... Oh, it's got a little cute, cute rabbit thing. Post office. Oh, maybe we can do some postal fraud as well. It's probably close though. 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Uh, I think I think even uh, with the uh, parlour state of the, uh, the UK post office, I think mine's open for longer than that. What's this one? Oh, I can go to one there in here. Oh. Swordsman School? Now, are you thinking the same thing as me? Is that hair? And if yes, I hope that's hair. Um, this is like a training thing. That's pretty cool. Um, oh, <gasps> can I buy that sword? <laughs> I can't lift that sword. There's a gong. That's, it's a good thing to have. Okay. And, oh, you've got a count. Oh, oh my god, it is hair. Okay. Speak. I need to speak to you, Guru. This training center is friendly, polite, 24 hour one on one training that will noticeably improve your sword skills. From now until the end of the carnival, join at a special discount. So, will you try it? Um. Oh! I mean, this is cool. Uh, I need to come back when I have money. Is that so? Regrettable. Truly regrettable. <laughs> okay, this is the um, the characters in this are oh, fantastic. Okay, alright, so post office is a morning job. Lottery is a morning job. Uh, I need money to do banking. I think that's all the shops, right? So the white definitely worked out that the white dots are. Oh, yeah. So the hang on. So the orange thing, right? Oh, there is a chest up there. Interesting. Well, what I'm thinking is it shows there's a white dot while I'm in this area because there's. A bit. Can I get to this bit? So, if you go down level to where the gate is here, I think you'll let me through. But so we're going to this corner. So the chest is up there. So that bit up there, if one can get to it, I'm not sure how one would get to it exactly. So I don't think I can glide that far as a Deku. But it looks like there's a raised area that has a door in it that I can access in this quadrant. And I can't I can't just pop myself in the thing because I don't have the deed. Okay. Ooh, right. What time is it? Five. Alright, let's go see if things are opening up. Ooh, the screen's got a little bit funny. Apologies for that. Oh, I might because it's the end of the day. Okay, well, hopefully that will reset in a moment. <gasps> okay, everything is getting smaller. <gasps> Dawn of the second day. 48 hours remain. <laughs> oh, I forgot to go to the bar. The night went quickly, didn't it? Um, right, it's six. So I need some coinage. Right, these guys are out here now. So, if we go... Oh, we went in the treasure shop. Uh, okay, let's see if we can encounter... Oh, okay. 8am. So not right now. I guess in the... Is there anything different in the bar? Oh, okay, it might only have let me in that once, that's fine. Well, you know what, if we've got a couple of hours to kill... 
10 a.m. Till 8 p.m. Okay, that's, that's pretty decent. Uh, let's go talk to Scarecrow. <laughs> What's that little farty sound? If you want to pass through here, you have to say the secret code. What is the secret code? Is it five, five, two, three, four, one? Um, uh, that's right. If you know the code, then you remember, right? Okay, here you go. Look, I've got a bomber's notebook and everything. There's a lot of cool stuff at that telescope guy's place. Oh yeah, and uh, the bomber's secret society of justice forever. <laughs> okay, um, I can't remember. There's a little bit of combat platforming in here, right? That's what I seem to recall. Oh, okay. Um, right, so Link can just swim. I don't think there's a, a stamina bar or anything. I think we can just swim across. Yeah, there was a spidery thing, right? A couple of spidery things. But I think we can... Oh, okay. We might need to deco it. Uh, and then do the... Here we go. Oh. Okay, okay. That's what we need to do. Right. Worked it out. Okay, I think there's another one. Do we need to pop the balloon? Can we pop the balloon for fun? Let's try it. Uh, again, no reticule. Okay. Oh, maybe we need to get closer. Oh, that's not how you do that. That's how you do that. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Oh. Yay! Little bits of balloon. Was that. Was there a point to that? I don't know. Okay. Uh. Yay! I guess when you've only got three. Three hearts, you haven't got many hearts to lose. Magic? Yeah, thanks, I'll have that. Magic, sure, why not? Okay. So, I should be able to get the, the thing from the, uh, uh, what am I talking about? I'm talking about the uh, m meteorite stone thing that our friend, the uh, adult Deku, would want to give to his wife. And then he'd give us the deed to his property. Which I don't know if we can, oh, only slightly creepy. Chicken! I can tap the pots. Oh, oh, it's tempting. Okay, chicken? Oh, hang on, can I Z the. No, I can't. Okay. Right, let's talk to the scarecrow because you did say you could teach her something. Yo, hey, baby! I'm a Stalin scarecrow wandering in search of pleasant music. Time will pass in the blink of an eye if you dance with me. If you like, baby, we can forget the time and dance until night. Shall we dance? No. Oh, sorry, that's too bad. In that case, come back anytime if you want, decide you want to dance. By the way, I know of a mysterious song that allows you to manipulate the flow of time. Do you want to learn it? Yes, please. Oh, yeah. Now listen up. If you play that strange song backward, you can slow the flow of time. Oh, and if you play each note twice in a row, you can move half a day forward through time. How's that? Pretty interesting, isn't it? But I'm sure I'd like any song. Written by you better, baby. If you like, you can play one for me. 
Okay, so does that mean that our... Uh, I'm going to write this down. The sum of time. So backwards is slow time. And double notes. I don't know if we're allowed to put that many notes in, are we? Um, Past is half a day. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Interesting. Well, it's 10 o'clock. Let's... I don't think I need to do the deed stuff. So I'm going to head back this way. Well, no. Oh, no. Good old fixed camera. Okay. Uh, does the spider reappear? Is technically in a is it a technically in a different room? We reloaded the spider. I think we're good. You could just see his legs otherwise. Right, we're fine. Phew. I like the fishes, they're really nice. Really nice detail. Right, there's nothing this Oh potentially there oh potentially there is something that way that we could get to because we're now linked. But you know what? It's not part of what we're doing right now. We would have to fight another uh, spider, potentially, which I didn't do too well at before. Yay, weather effects! So it always rains on day two. Right, there. Oh, the mayor's residence. Nice, this is very stylish. <laughs> very stylish place. Right, so there's two doors and a reception desk. Let's talk to this person. He has wonderful hair. Mm -hmm. Welcome! Do you have some business? The room on the left is the mayor's room. Sounds like they're having some kind of meeting, I think. The room on your right is the drawing room. And it's also Madame Aroma's office. Okay, well, let's try Aroma first. Because that was the agent for the band? Although I'm not sure. Oh! <gasps> Madame Aroma? Oh my goodness. Oh, no! Okay, this is somebody else. <gasps> Alright, I think this is Madame Aroma. It seemed, this seems like what Madame Aroma would look like. Okay, uh, I love this room. Okay, let's talk to this person. Oh dear! Are you on a field trip? Or are you the expert person finder I hired? Yes, yes, yes. I say you have the face of a pro. Each the characteristics of the person I want you to find. Yes, yes, I know them. The person I want you to locate is my son, Cafe. You know him, don't you? You don't? Really? He disappeared about a month ago. It's terrible. I'm so very worried. I can't get food down my throat. I've lost five pounds. You haven't anything, though? Oh, dear. Well, could you look for him? Yeah. Oh my, of course, you are an expert. Well, I'm counting on you. <gasps> You've been given Cafe's mask and, recruit and recruited to locate a missing person. Okay, so purple, pinky purple hair. Facial features, not sure about, purple eyebrows, okay. Wear this to inquire about the missing, oh, okay. So it's like a conversation option. Madame Aroma, the mayor's wife. Oh, that makes sense. It was added to your notebook. You took the work of a pro. This is added to your notebook. Now, who is this fine person? Can I talk to them, please? Mm. Other fins damp lately. Mm. That's the greeting used among us Zoras. Oh, this is what the Zoras look like. They're cute. Oh, forgive me. I am Toto, manager of the band, the Indigo Goes. I'm out of business cards, so Azora greeting will have to do. The Indigo Goes is the popular group that we Zora are so proud of. They've put out a lot of songs. One of their hits is Ballad of the Windfish. You know that song, don't you? Mm, you don't really? Even one that famous? Mm. You'd be able to hear it if the show wasn't cancelled. Such a shame. Toto, the band manager, was added. Ooh, okay, can I take on the... Are the fins damp lately? Cancelling the show isn't something I want to do at all. It was the first performance at the carnival for the Indiegogos in a while, and so I'm sorry for the fans. But with the diva the way she is right now, a show would be 
Ugh, lately, only bad things have been happening at Zora Hall. Oh, uh, okay, so that's probably out of the city. So that's an out of the city job. This door isn't the mayor's office, so where does this go? Oh, the boudoir. Oh, twin beds, I see. Uh, some kind of curtain? Can I go? Oh! Oh, the office. Okay. Any juicy stuff here? Come on, towel. Let's check. Oh, Cafe's diary. Oh, okay. The wedding ceremony is soon. It might be early, but I finished my wedding mask. I wonder if Anju has made hers. Okay. Cafe and Anju. Making notes. And have we met Anju? I feel like we have. She tends to do things at the last minute, so probably not. There is a gathering of the fellows at the milk bar tonight. I plan to show off my wedding mask and talk about my sweetheart as best I can. Hmm. Okay, milk bar. Ah, oh, but uh, I'm making a note here. Uh, but I need to be a member. I don't know how you do that. This is exciting. Ooh. Um, you know what? I just remembered purple hair, right? The little person who um, wears like a fox mask and goes into the locked shop. That person has purple hair, very reminiscent of that of the mask. So I wonder if you can cut straight to them. Maybe. Oh, serious music. Oh, this reminds me of the uh, foreman at the room site. Oh, and this must be the military, the guards. And that's the mayor. Uh, let's see what's going on. Most of the townsfolk already have taken shelter without waiting for the mayor's orders. The only ones left are public servants and committee members. Mr. Mayor and carnival committee members, please order those who remain to evacuate. Uh, mm, well... You cowards! Do you actually believe the moon will fall? The confused townsfolk simply caused a panic by believing this ridiculous groundless theory. The soldiers couldn't prevent the panic, but outside the town walls is where the danger is. You want answers? The answer is that the carnival should not be cancelled. Isn't that right, Mr. Mayor? Mm, uh, mm, well... Huh? Are you serious, Muto? Seems a giant chunk of rock above us hasn't caught your eye. At this, uh, this time every year, we're overrun by tourists, so why is the town empty? Clearly it's your job to ensure the carnival's operation, but that's if people are here for it. Don't drag the merchants and soldiers into this. Mm, uh, if the soldiers wish to run, then run! Uh, Vison, we councilmen will stick to, tra to tradition. This carnival will be a success. I've never heard of a defence unit abandoning its town. Madame Morona would surely say the same thing, wouldn't she? Mayor Dotor? Let's not bring my wife into this. Mayor Dotor. Was that it to your notebook? Okay, can I... Can we further the conversation? Oh, must take refuge! On with the carnival. Okay, can I just talk to Mayor? S -s -s separately? There you go. Where? No. No, it's, all, it's a group conversation. Okay. Interesting. Oh, you've got an interesting mask on the back of your chair, haven't you? Hmm. Yeah. So I'm I'm wondering now, um, given the context of my interactions with the band are probably something that would mean going outside the city. I wonder how much is going to be like a backwards and forwards thing. Okay, I want to go to... What were, we, what were the only places that we were not able to go into? If we go back into the inn... Oh, it's the afternoon already. Uh, what was it that closed at three? Because we're probably not going to get there in time now. Oh! Something different. Is it the mother of the person we spoke to before? I'm sorry, our rooms are filled. Ah, <gasps> oh, these character designs are great. Right, so there should be uh, a room or two 
Yeah, there's a corridor here. Okay. Can I check it out? Yeah, I can. Oh, who's this person? <gasps> oh, Tortoise. Did you finish helping father? Then let mother read you a story. Now, which story would you like to hear? I'll pass. Come the time. Two hours. Four giants till morning. Ooh. Let's try Carnival of Time. The Carnival of Time, is it? The Carnival is almost here, so it's good for you to learn its meaning. It's a little long, but I'll read it with some enthusiasm. <laughs> the Carnival of Time. Each year, the season of harmony begins when the sun and moon are in alignment. Paying homage to the way that both nature and time are tirelessly in the process of progressing. The Carnival of Time is when the peoples of the four worlds celebrate that harmony and request fruitfulness for the year. Oh, are you awake? I guess that story was a little boring for Tortoise, wasn't it? Don't give up. Try again sometime. Angie's grandmother. Ah, Angie. Okay. So who is Tortoise? Hmm. Can I... Uh, the time is five. I'm not going to get chucked out yet. Oh, Tortoise. Did you finish helping father? Then let mother read you a story. Now, which story would you like to hear? Um, I'm intrigued about the four giants. That seems like something relevant. The Four Giants, is it? This is quite long, but it is a good story for you to hear, so I'll read it with some extra gusto. Ahem. The Four Giants. This tale's from long ago, when all the people weren't separated into four worlds like they are now. In those times, all the people lived together, and the Four Giants lived among them. On the day of the festival that celebrates the harvest, the Giants spoke to the people. We have chosen to guard the people while we sleep. One hundred steps north, one hundred steps south, one hundred steps east, one hundred steps west. If you have need, call us in a loud voice by declaring something such as, The mountain blizzard has trapped us, or The ocean is about to swallow us. Your cry shall carry to us. Intriguing. Oh, are you awake? I guess that story was a little hard for Tortoise. But don't give up. Try again later. Oh, it really did take us eight the next morning. Brilliant. Um, I wonder if we can... As we're already in, can we stay in? Uh, Granny's diary. Do you think she'll notice? We're going to take refuge at Romani Ranch tomorrow. I guess it really will fall. Leaving my lifelong home and fleeing is unbearable, but nothing can be done. I think I'll take several of Gampy's favourite books. Oh, I don't. Is that. I read it in gran, that granny's voice. Assuming it was that granny's words. Um. <gasps> yeah, I'm jumping on the bed. Sorry, so granny. Okay, well, I'm of the mind that a giant is perhaps what we're looking for in each of the four quadrants of this world. I think we got away with it. Oh, is this a toilet? Interesting. Why is everything shaking? Because it's the final day. Okay. Oh, I'm. Uh, uh. Oh, nice. The kitchen. Oh, I did not expect to ha be able to um, access like the back room. They got a little pond, a little beetle. Oh, back room areas in the inn. It's exciting. So, oh no, Anju! Of course, Anju is. Uh. The, oh, back to this story again. The, um. The person who was on the desk in the first day. That's why I know Anju. Okay, so that was that. And that was that. And that. Oh, that was that. Right. And this is the toilet. Nice. Nice that there's a toilet in a video game. Like a fantasy, fantasy video game. I like it. Okay. Um, don't worry about the rumbling. Okay, so that that one definitely no. I mean, the moon's not going to come down until the end of the day, right? 
sneak into other people's rooms. Okay, so the it's daytime, so the twins should be in here. They are uh, female twins. Oh, Angie's in here. Everyone will be taking refuge first thing in the morning. Everything was supposed to be all so spirited. It's sad. Oh, then maybe they've cleared out. We'll be going to Romani Ranch in the evening to take refuge. I think you should all hurry too. Okay, so I probably need to do stuff before day three. Uh, but can I put on... Zandu hasn't gone yet. Can I put on this mask? Might be more useful than the fairy mask at the moment. Um, can I put that on? And ask you about and you I can't find him cafe where I wonder where he could have gone and there's only a little time left before our wedding okay so it didn't help but that's what that does it unlocks the conversation option which is a cool way of doing um, uh, topic areas of having, um, I say conversation trees, but uh, at least some conversation twigs. It's cool. Um, right, so I don't know who's going to be around because I can't remember. We didn't really bother with looking to see who was around on the last day. There was somebody bombing around up here just now. Oh, there's the posty. Okay. Oh, we didn't go in the post office, did we? <gasps> Where was the post office? Oh, it's in the west? So we want to go this way. Okay. Yeah, post office and lottery were the only two places that we haven't been at all. So I think we should go do that. I got... How did I get one rupee? Can I remember how I got one rupee? Maybe I can bank it. Should I bank it? Is it worth banking? It might be worth banking. Just to see how it works. Okay. I think everything should still be open. Okay. Hi. Hey there, little guy. Why do you deposit some rupees? Nowadays, even if people have money, they don't deposit any. Nothing, nothing. So for a little bit of time, I'll give you a special gift based on how much you deposit. For example, if you deposit 200 rupees, you'll get an item that holds a lot of rupees. I want to deposit a rupee. Alright, so... How many rupees? How much? How much? Uh, one. Really? Are you really depositing one rupee? Yeah. That's it! That ain't nothing at all, big spender. But if you say so. So, little guy, what's your name? Hmm, Link is it. Got it. I won't forget your deposits. Let me stamp you with my special ink. Hey, relax. It doesn't leave any marks. And it's not going to hurt. <laughs> You're on my head. There. Now I'll know you when I see you. All right, little guy. From now on, I've got a total of one rupee from you. Come back and deposit some after you save up a bunch. Can I with... I guess the important thing is, can I withdraw? Ah, you can. All right. Got it sorted. Okay, so I'm <laughs> uh, I'm carrying a physical mark around to denote that I have an account. So in theory, we're good. Right, this is the post office. Currently out delivering mail. Please wait a while. Oh, okay. There's only one person who works at the post office, and they're also the mail delivery people. Let's do the lottery. Lottery shop. Uh, is anybody there? Huh? Who's saying this? Would you like the chance to buy your dreams for 10 rupees? Pick any three numbers, and if you if those are picked, you'll win 50 rupees. It's only for the first person. Uh, I'll buy it. Hmm, sir, if you don't have any rupees, you can't buy your dreams. Good point. Okay. So... I'm not sure how... Okay. Ooh, there's some interesting masks on the wall there. Is there? What is what is above the hang on, we need to go into first person for this, don't we? What is above the counter? Oh no, that's down. Oh, okay, it's kind of an abstract game 
It's like a treasure chest opening with rupees flying out and a bullseye. And there's just a p person hidden in there, I think. Oh. Okay. Oh, I'm still wearing the mask. Okay. <laughs> or did I put that on by accident? I might have put that on by accident. I don't remember what being under that. Okay. Uh, is the person back? Yeah. Oh, post office. Oh, there's seven lay down. Interesting. What's this? This morning schedule, morning collection, afternoon delivery, evening practice. To week's motto, don't slack off the heavens and the wife are watching. They are dota. Okay, interesting. What's Oh, oh, it's your changing room, right? It looks like this place is about to close. Let's go outside. Oh no, but I didn't get to talk to the person. Is it three o'clock already? They close at one. But it's like one. Oh, you. Doing your afternoon. Okay, it's hard to get into the post office. I want to talk to the postie though. All right, I'll wait until they're back. So they should be back before three, right? We can just enjoy uh, Link's idle animation for a little bit. It's nice, subtle. I can put on some masks and put on this mask. Look, not spooky at all. Yeah, so I, I, I doubt just having that on and ringing the bell will do anything, but I'm pretty sure that Kathy is the person who is running the shop by the river. If they've been gone for a month. Ooh. The music is up, has increased its tempo for the third day. That's a really interesting, subtle detail that I only just realised. It's increasing the um, the sense of urgency. Right, come on, Posty. It's two o'clock. Oh. This is you, isn't it? Okay, right, I'm, I'm coming in. Coming in. Okay, can I? It's turn three. All right, I'm not really sure how you get to talk to the base, to be honest. You have to be there at very specific times. Uh, right, well, I mean, we've done as much as we can. This is the final day, so I, we're not really going to get to talk to the the posty again. Uh, we deposited our money, so we kind of know how that works. Well, I think it's probably time to... I guess the interesting thing perhaps to do would be to check out the mayor's office one more time. Go home, little doggy. Um, I'm intrigued by that. I wonder if anything different will be happening there. So, there doesn't seem to be any uh, significant ways to... I mean, we could try the bar. I don't know. I'm, oh, we can't get in without... Oh, we can get in. It's confusing. I don't expect there'll be anybody, though. Oh, yeah. No, it's open because <laughs> everybody's abandoned town. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, so I think... There's quite a few diverse side quests by the looks of it. And some have only got the inkling of that there might be something going on there. Um, you might need to do runs that are just focused on doing the side quests. Okay, no deep reception. Fair enough, it is the. Uh, well, it's late afternoon. Okay. I mean, I, I would kind of expect them 
now to have left town. To be honest. I, uh, I'm assuming we're going to keep our masks when we travel back in time. That'd be nice. Our masks, our bank account. Right, anybody in here? Oh, serious music again. Oh, all the parties are still here. Oh, I might be engaged in this meeting for a while. Um, okay, they're going. Okay, they're going right to the the wire with this argument then. All right, then you progress them. That's fine. Okay, I'm intrigued by all these possibilities. I'm not quite sure what order to tackle things in. I guess the Kathy and you um, plot is the most developed of the ones I've come across. I'm kind of like I've got some idea of what to be doing. Okay, so was there anything else I want to do? I think we're done. I think we're done for now. Okay. Um, right then. Let's end it here. That's it, face the camera link. Okay, um, I'm gonna pull out my euphonium. I guess it's gonna be an ocarina this time, isn't it? Oh, okay, no, it's the final day. Right, here, oh, can I remember the song though? Yes, we've got it written down here somewhere. Uh, is it? Uh. No, it's something like that, isn't it? It is... Ah, it's... Save and return to the dawn of the first day. Yeah. There we go. Well, there shouldn't be any rupees flying out because I haven't got any. Oh, and they're on! Interesting. So it must customise it depending on what you've got. Nice. Well, I think uh, before I end the episode, I'll do a quick check. Dawn of the first day. 72 hours remain. To check what came with me. And I guess, yeah, must definitely there. All the masks are good. Um, Ocarina, map coverage, yep, Bomber's notebook, and then presumably we can withdraw from the bank as well. Okay, that's pretty good. This is all good info. Um, and then next time, I guess I'll come up with a plan of action as to what threads I want to follow up. I probably need to explore outside because that's likely to be where I'm going to get money from, and money seems to be the way to develop other things by new abilities um, yeah I guess there's kind of less to do in town than I hope there might be um, fewer threads to put on but it's still a lovely place to be um, I really enjoy let's turn the ground there you, go. there you go I really enjoy clock town it's still a really nice place to be um, and thank you very much for joining me for another little Another little look at Majora's Mask, which seems to be um, a really nice, at least at, at the stage we looked at it, a really nice detailed miniature. You, the more you, um, the further you get into it, the more more, de more detail you see, um, which is a really lovely thing. Um, until we next see each other in whatever video, take care. Bye bye.